surrender. It's like you're scared to death of her because she makes you feel like you're not in your body because you're not grounded with her at all. There's a complete detachment of you and your soul. Mm. That's what I mean here. Great earthly way to say yeah. that. There's a complete detachment between you and your and soul. And it's because you put the limitation there, baby. Okay, you put the fear in your heart. She doesn't want you to fear her. That card Jordan's holding right now so like once make, makes me want to cry. I feel like she's really sad. Your soul is really, really, really sad because she feels like she's been cast out from you. And No, well, yeah, um, both of them. Of the ground body and the spirit. Because the earthly body is mad. And that, that fear, that anger is coming from a fear. But that, that soul is just, like, broken. Come to, just, okay, first off, before we go any further, come join our community, okay? Please, 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 please let me see your name pop in my community. I want to help you out. It's a free community where we all get in there. All like minds come together and we truly help each other and answer any questions that you have. It's an open platform. Our community. I shouldn't have said mine. Our community. Yes. Uh, baby. Like, mind yes. Cause I like, I feel you so, so strong right now that I want to cry. And I don't know if that even makes sense. Like, okay. I'm giving you a hug right now. Okay. I hope you can feel the love and the hug that I'm giving you. And I'm going to help you find her. If that's what you want, I will do that. I don't want anybody to walk through the life lost or feel like they're not connected. Also, that you do not hate yourself. No. You don't and it's not that at all. About you that you're turning against your physical body because your soul is detached from you. There's nothing about you that's ugly. There's nothing about you that's nasty. There's nothing about you that does not deserve it. Nope. So please stop saying yourself because I'm just hearing that repeatedly that you're not enough. You're not that. Not that. Those could not be the furthest from the truth. Um, I'm going to show you the second card that I got. Go ahead. You. Um, you can do your spread. Second card I got. That you can do your spread. I need to calm down for a minute. <clears throat> um, so the moth. Surrender to loving yourself. The next card I got for you, which makes perfect sense, is the whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. And I want you to look at this card because look at that. It's like the spirit is outside of the body on this whale, but they're still in unison. The spirit is working completely around the whale to keep it alive just one minute thank you just one minute thank you. so focus on the light no um yes go there check us out and join that community with us yes if any questions you have about this feeling that you have all these feelings i want you to put all these feelings and all these feelings of negativity all these feelings are not enough all these feelings of complete detachment from divinity. Cause I feel like you feel like you don't have a connection to God, to divine, to the spirit world, to anything anymore. And I feel like you feel ashamed of that. There's no shame in that at mm -hmm. all. From this, from you and yourself. Okay. Yep. And that's a Yep. Totally get it. Thank you, Jordan. You told, you said that so that I could remember this exactly right here. Um, not shoot that out there you're going to lose okay them. so i want to talk to you about something about past lives and stuff okay so like in past lives a lot of us were you know punished for oh, these yeah. gifts okay you know you know what i'm talking about i don't need to step into that um a lot of us were punished and looked at bad for these gifts because all we want to do is spread love and light and people don't understand that they don't understand what love and light is they don't understand what i'm channeling they don't understand where i'm standing um i feel like that's tr really rings true for you in, in past lives you were punished badly for what you did and that's why this life you don't really want to connect with your divinity okay it's okay to get past that it's okay to get past that and bring her back i want you to bring her back she wants you to bring her back you're safe now. Everything is safe now. You are not going to be punished. And if people around you are punishing you, then you need to get rid of them because they are punishing themselves. Okay? As you see, it's nothing about you. Um, your cards that I got right now are enrichment. You need to enrich yourself. Enrich yourself. Um, yeah, just you need to fill yourself back up with the love. Connect with the divine again. Know that you are worthy and that you're here for a purpose and that you do sprinkle a little bit of yourself too into the world and that we need you here. Fill back up with the enrichment. And then right now you need to reinvent yourself because it's invention time. It's invention time for you. You can now choose who you want to be and what you're going to carry the rest of your life. So reinvent your, your perspective and your yourself. That's okay. Go ahead. I'll wait till your spread's over. And then um, this is your last card. Acceptance. Acceptance. 
floor because your clothes are wet. You need to accept the fact that you are a divine being. You are beautiful. You have such potential, and they want you to connect. And just even if it's just to say, hey, every single day, you got this, you're good, that's it. If that's all that you want every day and that's all you need, that's fine with them. They're fine with whatever. They're grateful for you to even let them in and even think about letting them in. That, they're thankful for that. So imagine that, how thankful they are that you're just even thinking and considering it. Let them fill you up with the love and light, okay? You're going to be able to spread yourself around the whole world if you, let it be, if you just, like, let it in. That's why I feel like our community is going to be so good for her because people are going to start rallying for her. They really are. And she's going to be supported more than she has in a few years. That's why I said I, I like she's been... would love to help you. Jordan would love to help you. This is the reason why we started that community for people like that, for us, people that were looking for people that didn't know where to go, didn't know where to look, didn't know where to start, didn't know what worked for other people, didn't even know who to ask. That's why we started that community. So you don't have to go out there and look through billions of pages and pages and pages and uh, websites and this and that and this and books and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? We're trying to make it really like bring it to the center forefront for you guys and really like have you guys start looking at that stuff. Um, it's important. I send you healing, baby. Okay. I send you so much healing. <clears throat> and you're going to get there. You'll get there. I feel like you have some help. My eyes bothering me really bad over here. Like my eye, I have a lot of pressure in my eye all the way underneath here, back into my eye, and this eye is really blurry. I feel like all this stuff's gonna get cleared up once you get back in touch with spirit. There's also some intestinal stuff going on too, but I feel like that's just because of the detachment of you and your soul, your light body. Now I can sit on the couch. Can you turn that down, please? Thank you. You don't need to watch that. You need right. to turn that off. Yeah. Okay. I agree. <laughs> I figured you'd want her back too. Um, I just, like, I just uh, know how sometimes people, when they're getting into this, they get freaked out by that fact that you do have a higher self. You have somebody that's with you all the time. That's actually you, but just a higher form, right? I know it freaked me out in the beginning. I was like, "What does that mean? Like, what do you mean?" Uh, when you find out who she is and you get to see her, you're going to be like, there you are. I have missed you. And it's going to fill you up. Jordan and I actually, um, oh, I just burnt myself. Jordan and I have some great meditations. I'll throw those up on the page for you. Best experience of my life. And I've been doing this for a long time. Best meditation I've ever had. Best connection I've ever had with my higher self. And I want to say when I saw her, it was amazing. Changed my mind, like, about everything. That's why I say don't go into things with, like, Right. Don't go into things like thinking you already know what it's going to be like because it, I didn't know. And I was like surprised with what I found. Actually, Jordan knows. Hey, Chantel. Um, no. Hey, Chantel. Hey. Um, uh, Thank you, Tasha, for Chantel. donating again, too. I appreciate you. She donated that for Livy. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Very wonderful. All right. From our community is what she said. For what? If you scroll up and read the comments, she said the donation is from our community. For words. Oh my God, that is amazing. What is your shout it out? I want to be able to support you too. Your group. 